Greetings YouTubers, we're here for another video where I will let you know what are the first prints that I did except those upgrades that I have done in my Creality Ender Tree. So let's do this. If you have seen my first 7 upgrades from my Creality Ender Tree, this first print that I did is featured there using the free white filament included when I purchased my Ender Tree. It is this headless cat which I think come quite nice from a 3D printer that just came out of the box. With its fine details, I am impressed. If you haven't seen my video on the first 7 upgrades for my Ender Tree, you can click on the link appearing on the top of the screen. Since I do not want my white table to have coffee stains, I decided to design and print a bug coaster with my logo on it. And so far it comes out good, except that I needed to sand the top surface because I use an ironing option in Cura, which makes the top surface like expanding and the lines were filled. As you can see here, you can see some of the details of the letters. You can also watch the video on how I made this mug coaster in the link appearing on the screen. Next one, since my wife likes Doraemon, I decided to download an STL file in Thingiverse and printed it with supports. The base is not included in the print. I just added one of the rough prints on some prints that I did for it not to topple because of its big head. Of course, like most of the 3D printing enthusiasts, 3D printing is boring without printing a 3D benchy. So I printed mine also. Since I printed the Doraemon and a 3D benchy, I want to print more toy-like prints as I want to give away these toys to children. So I decided to print an articulated octopus. An articulated gecko. and a coin bank elephant with a base using the tree silhouette coaster that I printed. As I don't want to put my tools in the printer itself, I printed stackable tray as a storage, which is one of the most useful print I have so far. I find it messy also that my SD card and USB reader just sits in my table. Thus I print a holder for them to be placed in a nicer way. The last one that I printed in this batch of first prints that I did so far is this modular drawer. I have done some trial and error in Cura as I want to scale this down for the printing time to lessen as this comes in three parts. The body, the drawer, and the knob or the handle. I didn't use the knob that comes in the model in Thingiverse as I don't quite like it so I made a simple angle handle and glued it together with the drawer. Mostly I use it to store small items like screw and bolts and small tool not longer than 90mm. So 
So that's it for this week in the first prints that I did. This is just the first part so watch out for the second part. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be notified every time I upload new videos. And of course, if you have questions or you need any help or if you have any suggestions or comments, don't be shy to ask in the comment section below. See you guys next week. As always, keep creating. Cheers!